guys, this is Peter from Roland. I'm here to talk about the System 1 keyboard. The System 1 is a four-voice ACB technology plug-out synthesizer. That means it uses analog circuit behavior modeling to emulate uh, old vintage synthesizers down to the component level. So the uh, R&D development team did a really great job at emulating all the circuits, all the transistors to get a very convincing analog sound. It's two oscillators, a sub, you also have control for pitch envelopes, a uh, low pass filter which can be switched from 12 dB to 24 dB based on the steepness of the curve, also built in high pass filter, uh, amplitude envelope, pretty much all the essential controls that you would need to get running with your synthesizer and it has a built in effects section as well. It has easy access to presets with the most recent firmware update you get 64 or 8 banks of 8 so you can immediately recall and save presets on the fly making it really good for live performance. Uh, it has an LFO assignable section built into the left side of the keyboard right here where you can modulate pitch, filter cutoff, amplitude, and other parameters of the synthesizer. There's also a scatter section which is basically an arpeggiator which is a way to control the speed of how fast you want the chords to go and it also affects different parameters of the synthesizer as well. So you can control things like brightness, you can control things like uh, pitch modulation. It's basically like an arpeggiator that has a bunch of different algorithms that make it really fun to play live and really uh, fun to experiment in the studio. So let's kind of listen to what the, what the keyboard sounds like a little bit. It's also got a handy key hold function. If I turn that on, it'll just hold the chord that I'm playing. So now I can use two hands to kind of go through and modulate the parameters, shaping my sound as I go. It's also got a built-in bit crusher right here. This is a great way to get some digital type sounds. Built-in effects section on the right here, I can lower the reverb. Kind of go over to the LFO filter parameter right here, assign that. Can change the range of the oscillators right here. to bring up a sub oscillator, change the octave. I can get really great full sounding pads or really kind of condensed, brutal sounding leads just by using the ranges right here and the mixer selections right here. Then if I wanted to use the scatter parameter, I can just take a press the arpeggiator. It's kind of cool to have a synth that will adapt to basically what you're doing to it. So. If I like that sound, I could do something as easy as just hold the patch number that I want to save it to. For, for example, it'll blink. And then the patch is right there. So I can make some changes. And then I hit four. It brings my sound back no problem. Like I said before, it has eight banks of eight, so you have plenty of patch storage. So you can take this on the road, immediately recall patches, no problem. One special thing about this synthesizer is the plug-out technology. Uh, plugouts are basically uh, software emulated software plugins that you can use inside of a DAW like Ableton. But what's special about it is that you can offload those, synthesi uh, those synthesizer plugins onto this board and then unplug the synth, meaning that you can actually have two in one, uh, two sounds in one with the, uh, with the plugout technology. Currently we have four available that all emulate old Roland analog uh, monophonic synths like SH-101 and SH-2 and they sound fantastic. It's probably the best type of digital emulation you could find of those synths. So, so that covers it for the System 1 synth. Uh, for more information check out RolandUS.com or Skitscat.com.